What's up, everyone? It's time for another round of Emerge NYC. We're back out on the Brooklyn map, and we're going to be doing another Everyone Goes today. It's been a hot minute since we've done one of these. We already got a clap spawned in because those work really well with the Everyone Goes. We've got engine 214, 234, 222, tower 111, ladder 123, battalion 37, rescue 2, and squad 252 all responding uh, so far. And we're pretty much going to bring everyone else on the... Uh, uh, map that's uh, like FDNY equipment, that kind of thing. So let's go ahead and get in our turnout gear and uh, we'll hop into 14 and get headed that way. There we go. Let's get uh, engine parking brake lights, all the things. Of course, the door clicked. I, it does it all the time. It's not an emerge episode without me clicking the door somehow. Like, I really feel like I could probably click on my second monitor off to the side here and the door would still come down. That's just the way it is. Like, it always does that. I don't know why really extra sensitive it's a very sensitive door all right all right let's go now for those of you that aren't familiar with everyone goes it's more about the lights and the sirens and the equipments and stuff like that that's why we don't do the uh fires we don't do fires for everyone goes because what happens is the fire burns out by the time we get everything there uh the fires aren't persistent enough i don't think so Generally, uh, we started out doing everyone goes with fires and it's just like every time we got like the last piece of equipment there The fire would burn out and there'd be nothing to do. So We went more to uh, building collapses are really good for everyone goes. So that's what we do now All right, we got this guy on scene. Let's park him right here and let's jump on the 111 truck Really fast to see ladder ladder 111. There we go Grab him. Yeah, that's a mess there. You see all that stuff piled up. There's going to be a person down in there somewhere. It's going to take us a minute to get him out. All right, let's go ahead. Get this guy going. Yeah, we did. Uh, everyone goes a lot. Like I said, I think uh, that's really where uh, they started getting popular on the channel. Started doing really well. And uh, we did a lot. And I feel like after a while, they kind of ran their course, right? Come on, school bus, get out of the way. Yeah, I feel like they kind of ran their course after a while, and uh, we kind of got away from them. So we still do them from time to time, but uh, not as much as we did in the past. All right, y'all get out of the way. Trying to stick with uh, some of the older equipment, some of the spares and things of that nature. Uh, what else we got showing up on this? Uh, it's going to be two, three, four, and uh, the triple deuce. Yes, triple deuce. I remembered it this time. I, I keep forgetting that. People all the time like spares. Triple deuce. It's not two, two, two. It's like blasphemy. You can't, <laughs> you can't refer to engine two, two, two. Is uh, two 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 is triple deuce. So all right, let's get. Uh, I forgot it's two three four, right? Yeah, two three four spares who we're bringing. So we'll get him. Do that, nice, nice. I love the older stuff, man. I'm telling you, I would be in heaven if we had like a 70s or 80s Bronx map, or a map that would kind of span those, uh, you know, those two decades. I think that would be really cool. I'd love it. I'd be all about it. Keep saying that in hopes that maybe one day we'll see that. All right, let's uh, ease out of here. Let's see, how are we going to go to this? I guess back to the left and then immediate right. Yeah, I think it's where, ooh, she's zoomed in a lot. Man, I can't hardly tell what's going on. There we go. There we go, that's a little better. No, no, don't pull. You should have just stayed where you're at, dude. You're good. These AIs, you know how they are. You know how they are. All right, let's put this guy right here. Yeah, this is good. We'll get ladder one, two, three now. Grab him. Uh, where you at? One, two, three, spare. Nice, yes. Get him. Like I said, we'll bring the battalion chiefs. We'll do this. We may bring, yeah, of course, we're going to have to bring an ambulance because we're going to have a victim. So we'll do that too. All right, let's get all this going. All right. I, I yeah, we're going to go kind of the same way, but I want to position this guy a little differently. A little bit differently. All 
All right, back around this way. There we go. Yeah, I think we're going to go down. We're going to go down by R2. Man, they always want to go that way when they clear. I don't know why. All right, back this way. Come on, guys. Y'all got to go. Use the bike lane. Yeah, we'll go. We'll swing the block and come back up. All right, y'all need to clear. Come on, you need to go. Let's go to first person so we can get rid of him. There we go. Nice trick. I wish I knew that a long time ago. It works pretty good. If you want to get rid of uh, AI traffic, just go to first person. All right, I think this would be a good spot right here for this guy. There we go. All right, who else we got? Who else is next? Uh, triple deuce. Yes, let's get on triple deuce. We'll bring him. There we go. So anyway, I've been thinking for a merge NYC. We may not be doing as much uh, in the next, uh, I don't know, time period. I don't know how long that will be. I'll be very honest. I'm, I'm kind of surprised and not surprised that the new update hasn't come out yet. I don't know what the status is on that or what's going on. I really, I guess I kind of thought it would have been out by now, but uh, you know, I, I really kind of feel like Emerge has kind of run its course on the channel for the time being. Uh, we'll still do one, maybe one a week, maybe one every other week, something like that. I don't know. I have to see. I've been thinking about it. A good bit, but uh, you know, it just starts feeling like we're rolling up to the same fires, the same stuff all the time. So I don't know. We'll see. Oh, dude, why did you do that? Why are we trading paint, man? Come on. That wasn't necessary at all. Oh, I love two, two, two. I love the triple deuce. Is a nice one, right? Old school. take this guy oh yeah we're back down here okay yeah let's swing the block we'll get a little bit more uh action with this one come on if the camera view will rotate any time now i'd appreciate it all right we'll come around this way should be good all right corvette Corvettes are the worst. They hardly ever want to clear out your way. All right, should be good here. All right, who's next? Uh, we've got 214, 234, 222, Tower 111, uh, Ladder 123, Battalion 37, Rescue 2, and the squad. You're just going to bring squad first and second piece because it may be a hazmat situation, you know, with a building collapse. You never know. So let's bring uh, Rescue 2. Let's hop on him. Get some train horn action here, maybe. I know everyone loves a train horn on Rescue 2. You know, I don't think they use it that much. I think probably people would be, <laughs> they would be complaining if they were blasting that thing all the time. They're loud. I'm telling you guys right now, as someone that did that for a while, you know, especially like, uh, we were still, you know, in the early 2000s when I did it, we were still running a lot of like uh, older engines and lease engines and so, so we still had a lot of equipment with a horn like right on top of your head and Man, they were so loud. Some of them were so incredibly loud. It just... All right, let's go get the manual cue because I know everyone wants to hear that too. You can't take Rescue 2 out without the manual cue. There, I think back this way, maybe. Come on, get out of the way. Is Corvette always on this corner. Why are you doing it, dude? There we go.
Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to squeeze by these guys. I just want to pull them up to the scene a little bit further, but we'll see. I don't think we're going to be able to get by the ladder. He's taking up all the room. Yep. I think he is. We'll see. Let's try to squeeze through. We may scrape these cars a little bit, but... It didn't happen if you don't see it. I didn't see it happen, so it didn't happen. All right, let's take this guy up here. Right here should be good enough. I think that's a good spot. All right, so uh, let's go back to that view. See what our scene looks like. Ah, pretty nice. Pretty nice looking scene. It's shaping up really good. All right. Uh, who else we got? Squad. Yes, we got to get squad 252. Another one of my favorites. All right, let's do all the things. And looks like we got a little bit of a drive with squad, so that's good. Some more manual cue action as well, too. I think how I want to come into this one maybe down this way I'm not sure how we uh, launched off the map in relation to the scene so I think we're gonna go down to Bergen Street and back up maybe baby I hope this uh, I hope I don't regret this yeah I think it's be all right And then back. You know, I think on down, actually. On down, and we'll come in on Atlantic the other way. Do that. Hey, why are you stopping in intersection, bro? You gotta move, dude. R4 of the course. You guys that are real life firefighters, I should. Sure, y'all probably see a lot of craziness as far as like how drivers act when they oh we still came in the same way. This is not how I wanted to come in, but you know what? We'll squeeze, we'll scooch by them again too. Let's go this way so we can see a little better. Uh yeah, I think we cleared them okay. I think we're alright. Let's go, uh, let's go right here. I think it's gonna be good. Sweet, all right, let's get squad 252 second piece. All right, this little piece of equipment right here is definitely one of my favorites. It's so different. I wish we could do more with it. You know, we, we hardly ever get to take this one out. We hardly ever get to take it out. I'll tell you guys right now, I think what would really help break the monotony of Emerge for me right now is just some new fires. Like, we need some new fires, even if they're like car fires or manhole, a better manhole fire, a more persistent manhole fire, something like that. You know, like I just feel like um, we need something to kind of change it up, break it up a little bit, you know? It's all about the new fires, keeping the content fresh and uh, interesting and, and having uh, more stuff to do. So that's the way I look at it. But, you know, it's uh, it's a lot of time and effort to do that as well, too. So uh, how do we want to go this one? Maybe back this way. I can imagine on the radio they're giving out instructions like where they want people to go. You know, they're like orchestrating things. We probably wound up going in the same way. No, we came in differently. Okay, sweet. Yeah, this is good. This is good right here. I like this. Uh, I think this would be good right here. Man, she's just getting a little laggy. I don't know why. I, this hasn't updated for me. So, you know, it hasn't updated in a while. So, I don't know what's uh, changed. It has to be something with my computer. Probably. Let's see. Uh, Battalion 37. Let's get. Uh, actually, no. Let's get engine 227. Let's bring him. Now, as far as alarms, we're not doing like any particular kind of alarm. It's not a second or a third or anything. It's just bringing everything on the map. 
And a few other pieces, actually. We're bringing everything on the map and a few other pieces. Okay, let's get this guy rolling. Let's see which way can we go with him. Think back to the right. Oh, nice. We got some manual cue action on this one as well, too. All right, let's go. Oh, stop, dude. Stop, stop, stop. Uh, Herkimer Street. Should we do Herkimer? Yeah, that's one way. I don't want to fight with that traffic. Let's go on down. Let's go on down to Fulton Street. We'll see about going this way, maybe. Come on, y'all get out of the way. Y'all get out of the way. Good drive on this one. I like it. I like the drives. All right, let's see. We'll make a lift. Yeah, another good one. This isn't bad. This isn't bad at all. Okay, let's keep them in this lane so we keep it open. All right, who else we got on the list here? Let's see. Let's go this way. We've got 227, 252, 252, Rescue 2, Battalion 3. I guess Battalion 37. I think that's going to be about it. Battalion 37, we'll bring him. We'll bring Chief O'Connell and 38. And we got uh, the 176. Okay, yeah, we got 176 to bring as well, too. We'll get him in a second. Hey, Chief O'Connell flying today. <laughs> I forgot how fast this thing is. Got a little get up and go for sure, man. Let's see. Yeah, this is a good one. Okay, yeah, we're coming in just the way I wanted to. Be good right here. Man, it would be a pain to get all this stuff out of here. I'd imagine once they get everyone all bunched up together and then they have all the lines and stuff like that and then they got to pack up and leave. It's, it's probably like a puzzle, like deconstructing a puzzle or something, trying to get everyone out. All right. Uh, who else do we have? Who else? We got uh, 176. Let's bring him. All right, 10 house truck. Let's go. This is another one we hardly ever take out. We don't do much with him. Trying to be a little bit quiet so you guys can enjoy the sirens and stuff. Oh, come on, dude. No, 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 no. Don't be doing that. You just insisting on going, huh? All right, let's keep going. Let's carry on. Uh, how are we coming into this one? Y'all go. You got to clear. I know we're wrong way, but that's all right. A little different. This is all right. Yeah, we'll go with this. Oh yeah, this is going to be a hot mess. We have to get all this stuff out of here for sure. All right, what else do we have? Uh, I think we're kind of coming down to the uh, end of the response, right? Uh, battalion three eight. I think battalion. Yeah, battalion three eight. We got everyone else. Yeah, battalion three eight. Going to be the last one. Chief O'Connell's brother. Let's get him out there. And we'll just go around this way, I think, yeah.
And we'll take him and I think park him maybe on the corner here. Yeah, it's getting really crowded. <laughs> we got a lot of stuff here. There's still even more. I think the biggest response I've had in game ever was the three alarm. The three alarm. Like we had everything, just tons and tons of stuff on the map for a big fire. All right, so we're on a scene. Let's go to rescue two. Let's just do rescue two. See, we can locate this victim and get him out of there. Luckily, he's not on some kind of timer or anything like that, so he's okay. He's not going anywhere. Okay, let's do turnout gear, and we're probably going to need a cribbing bag. I do think we need to find that, though. No, it's not. All right. Uh, let's check this guy. Let's see if we can get it off here. There we go. We can get it off the ladder. Luckily, we can. Yeah, all right. We'll get the cribbing bag. Let's go over here to the scene, see if we can locate the guy. He's under there somewhere. I can tell you that now. He's under there somewhere. I just don't know where. All right, let's drop you right here. Let's get our concrete drill. And let's start looking. What do we have? What does it look like? All right, all right, people, stand back. Y'all need to stand back or either start helping one of the two. Yeah, it's... Be careful. This could be unstable, right? We hurt ourselves or uh, them. My, yeah, I was going to say my gut tells me he's going to be... Yeah, there he is. I see his hand. He's going to hit me. <laughs> hit, hit me, yeah. And the, the biggest part of it is where he's at right here. Yeah, this is going to take a minute to get him out. For sure. Uh, yeah, I guess we start uh, we start drilling, guys. Like, we start doing the thing, <laughs> and then Brock's go crazy. Dude's going to be, like, mincemeat by the time we get down there to him. All right, well, I'll, uh, I'll be back with you guys in about an hour or so, probably. All right, so we've located the victim. I think we're going to kind of be able to get to him now. Let's go ahead and get a C collar on him. Let's see what he looks like. Yeah, he's going to be all jacked up. He's going to have a head injury. Uh, we'll get that taken care of. We'll put a C collar on that. Uh, he's got uh, spinal injury. He's got two broke arms and a broke leg. So, yeah, we'll see about all that in a second. Uh, let's get out of that, and I think what we need to do is get a Stokes basket. We'll get a Stokes basket. We'll load them up on that because it will give them a, at least a little bit of protection while we try to drag them out of here. We won't have to worry about banging them around into things, so let's do that. Let's take our drill over here, and we'll drop it down. Well, where's our cribbing bag? Yeah, we have to put it back in the cribbing bag. We can't actually drop it. Put him there. And now we need to find Stokes basket. Be able to get one off the engine here. And we need an ambulance as well, too. Alright, let's get that. Alright, let's see if we can load him up and uh, carry him out of here. Can we move him out a little bit? Ah, he's pretty wedged in there. Yeah, we can kind of pull on his head a little bit, but... I don't think that's exactly what we need to do. We don't need to be pulling on his head and neck. All right, let's just load him up this way. Go to treatments, uh, Stokes basket, and there we go. There we go. He's loaded up. He's good. So now we need the ambulance. Let's go ahead and drive it, too. We've driven everything else. We may as well bring the ambulance, too. Can't leave those guys out. Let's go new units, uh, EMS. Uh, Fortis, we'll bring him, and we should be good. Man, that was an involved rescue, I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you guys right now, it's already getting dark. We've been doing it for a while. All right, join and go to this. Do all the things. Oh, sweet. At least it's just going to be like around the corner here. Literally. There we go. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I'll go for this. And fairly close to it, too. So, yeah, that actually worked out really good. All right, let's hop out. And I think what we're going to do first is grab some screenshots, and then I'll catch up with you guys in just a second. We'll get this guy loaded up and take to the hospital. He's got to wait just a second, though. we got things to do. There we go. All right, we got our screenshots. Let's grab the stretcher. We can take him to the hospital now. He's Like I said, he's not going anywhere. He'll be all right. 
He'd be alright. He's gonna stay right there. So let's roll this over there. We'll get the uh, soaps basket out of there and load him up on the stretcher. We need to start an IV. We need to do some things like that. Actually, like assess the patients, splint all those fractures, do all the things. All right, I think this is going to be good right here. Let's drop it here and lower it. And let's change our gear. You know, I played this game forever before I realized that you could wear, like, turnout gear as EMS. Literally, I played it for probably months and months, months and months and never knew that. Never even thought about it, honestly. All right. Uh, how can we get this guy out of there without dropping him on his head? This is probably not going to be good, but we'll see. All right. All right, bro, just hang tight. Scoot you right over here just a little bit. There we go. Baby steps. Baby steps. We've almost got them. All right. Let's pass them down to myself here. Uh, let's grab you up like that. And then we should be able to... Yeah, sweet. That worked out. All right. Let's move him over here by the stretcher. I think maybe right there. Yeah, we can't rotate them around. At least if we can. I don't know how to do it, so... All right, let's get over here to him and let's see about uh, treating him a little bit more. Let's go to H. Let's split all these fractures. Uh, let's yeah, let's do that. Split that one. Oh, we're gonna split. There we go. Split that one. Let's start an IV. All right, let's look at his stats here and see how he is doing. This will be Royal Mac. Macaside, I guess that's how you pronounce his name. I can't quite make it out. Uh, yeah, he looks pretty good, honestly, for just having a building fall on him and having uh, three broken limbs and a hurt neck, a brain injury, and a spinal injury. He's actually doing really good. His temp's 98, his pulse is 61, pretty strong. Blood pressure's uh, 108 over 18. That's not legit at all. That says 16 over 16. Yeah, I don't know. 110 over 20. Yeah, his blood pressure isn't actually that great. I don't know what's going on with that. 110 over 20, that's weird. Okay, so 110 over 20. Uh, he's basically been crushed, so let's give him some morphine for pain. And I think that's basically all we can do. We've done all the other things, right? Like, we could put him on a, uh, a monitor. All right, let's see about getting him on a monitor the old school way. Let's go to treatments and vitals monitor. There we go. Right, let's give us a little better idea. His uh, heart rate is 50 beats per minute. His O2 is 80%. He's got eight respirations per minute, and he's 115 over 76. That's better. That looks a lot better to me. That's not bad, honestly. That's pretty dang good. Like, even for a healthy person, that's pretty good, <laughs> considering what he's been through. Uh, his respirations are a little low. We'd like to get those higher, but uh, he doesn't seem to be having any difficulty breathing, so I I'm going to assume he doesn't have any punctured lungs or uh, anything, broke ribs, anything like that. So let's get him on oxygen though. That might help a little bit. Let's do that. All right, let's see what this does for him here. We got his stats again. Uh, still the same, it did not. His O2 came up though to 99%, so that's really good. His respirations haven't, so. Um, what else could we do? Yeah, I don't really want to intubate him. I don't think we need to intubate him, honestly. Like, I think that's overkill, so. Uh, let's close out of this. Get out of that too. And let's go back and see if we can give him uh, rescue breasts. Yeah, that might help. That might help. There you go. All right. You can see it on there. Uh, no, it went down actually. Yeah, we may wind up having to intubate this guy. But his O2 stats are really good. So I think we're just going to go with this for now. Yeah, I think we're going to go for this. Let's... Uh, Go ahead and get him loaded up on the stretcher. And we'll get him out of here. I think we've done pretty much everything we can. Let's see. Stretcher. What can we do? Move patient. There we go. Alright, and let's grab this. Raise it up. Grab it. And we'll load him up and call it a day. Not too bad. Not bad. It was a little uh a little uh time involved trying to dig through all that stuff to get him out but we did it luckily we can edit that out and skip through it but uh not too bad 
mainly about bringing all the equipment right like all the lights and sirens it looks really good like that is a pretty badass looking scene i have to admit i like that all right let's get him on here there we go shut the doors we'll get him uh to the hospital here anyway guys that's gonna do it for this one i hope y'all enjoyed if you did please be sure to hit that like subscribe ring that bell leave me a comment love hearing from you if uh, if anything just say hello and uh, with all that said, we'll catch you on the streets of Brooklyn next time. Peace.